Hi, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator and from the longer company in China I received these protective goggles and well you might wonder why is he having these protective goggles well they go very very well with the longer ray 5 the machine that I've got over there a nice engraver built out of aluminum with an open frame and a moving X and Y gantry the machine is equipped with a 5 watt laser diode that operates at the 450 nanometer wavelength which makes it great for engraving a lot of materials including wood, leather, anodized aluminum and stainless steel. When it comes to cutting it's capable of cutting relatively thick wood up to 9 mm depending on the hardness of the material and of course all types of cardboard. What makes the machine different from the many other lasers that I've reviewed on my channel is that this machine comes with a standard built-in controller that runs on a 32-bit computer and is controlled by a touchscreen, making it possible to use the laser without a computer attached to the USB port. If you don't prefer working with SD cards, you can also choose to connect the longer Ray 5 to your Wi-Fi network making it able to connect it to your computer over Wi-Fi. The laser has a fixed focus that has a 30 mm focal range. The longer Ray 5 was an easy to assemble machine that was put together in well about 20 minutes or so. The instructions are very easy to understand and the parts are packed and labeled so that you know exactly which part you need uh, yeah, for every step in the process. When the machine is assembled there are a few test files that are already converted in G-code on the micro SD card. So after turning on the machine you can directly start using it by engraving some of the test files to wood. Of course you want to be able to make your own files but that's a process that I won't be covering in this review video yet it's very easy once you use the right software. And well, all this software is also provided on the micro SD card as well. The Ray 5 laser engraver does not have limit switches, meaning that you have to home the laser yourself to the bottom left corner, unless of course you don't want to use the whole engraving area. This also means that you can place the laser to a perfect starting point with your hands, which is very welcome. Of course, the longer Ray 5 has some safety features like a protective shroud under the laser that protects the eyes of people and animals that are in the same room where the laser is operated. In the first tests I did with the machine the laser performed very well and not only the tests on the cart but also some cutting and some engraving tests like a photo were made pretty fast and accurate with the laser. The fact that the laser has its own controller really is a big step forward compared to the lasers that I already have and this makes the longer Ray 5 my most favorite laser to recommend at this moment. For now I can say that the machine has very much surprised me when it comes to quality. Everything functions like it should and the supplied controller is really a very welcome feature. There are however also some things to mention that I didn't like that much, although there are not at all reasons to not recommend this laser. There is a scale on the side of this machine and it goes from 0 to 410 on both sides of the machine. Now you have to know that uh, actually the laser starts at 6 millimeters. So the laser doesn't start at the zero point, it starts at 6 millimeters in. Now you would think that it would stop at 410, but that's also not the truth. Uh, it stops at 409, so in fact the laser doesn't have a 410 millimeters wide or, or long y-axis. And uh, although it doesn't really bother me, but, well, don't print it on the side of your laser, because it's, it's not the truth. The zero point is not here at zero. Another thing is the USB plug of the machine. It's located on the top of the frame. And, well, in my opinion at least, this should have been placed on the side of the machine. Having it at the top could result in debris and dirt dropping in the USB port, and that's not good. 
Now, please understand that these are very minor complaints, yet I think my review wouldn't be complete if I left it out. Now, if you liked my review, then please well, give it a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing to the channel so that you can see more reviews that I make on the channel. Also note that uh, on my website, 3dprintcreator.com, I have all the videos arranged in a very easy to understand manner so that you can find videos that I made about specific subjects. Now, this is it. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.